Hello everyone, and welcome to my latest video. Today I'll guide you through the process of utilizing the FSR 3 frame gen mod in the game Alan Wake 2. This step-by-step -step tutorial will show you how to double the frames per second FPS of the game. The best part? This mod is compatible with any GPU, ensuring a smoother gaming experience for everyone. Let's dive in and enhance your Alan Wake 2 gameplay together. To learn how to download the mod, take a look at my previous video. There I explain everything. I'm going to show you how the game runs without the mod. The resolution is 1080p with FSR2 turned on in quality mode, and the graphics preset is set to high. The latency is very high now because my frame rate is at 30 FPS. Take a look at the frame time graph. It's a mess. I'm going to advance through the forest and look for some action and see how much my old GTX 1660 Ti can achieve in frame rate. This area is ideal for testing the game due to the number of effects and density of objects on the screen. The gameplay in city areas, it is a little more fluid. There I get a better frame rate. Various light effects, reflection in the water. Now I just need to find some enemies to start a fight and see how much my FPS will drop. I think this game is well optimized for the graphic quality it offers. The gameplay at this frame rate is very bad. I'm using an Xbox Series X controller, but even so the latency is very high. Let's install this mod as soon as possible and see how much it improves. Before installing the mod, let's solve the problem of high latency in games. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, go to the control panel in the option to manage 3D settings and leave the low latency mode on. Here we have all the files that we downloaded that are necessary to install the mod. Alan Wake 2 uses FSR 2.2, so the file that we are going to unzip is the one referring to this version. Let's copy all the files and paste them in the folder where the game's executable is located. Now that you have located the game's executable, paste all the files here. Everything is ready. Nothing else is needed for the mod to work. Open the game and go to the graphics options and select DLSS as upscaler and enable DLSS frame generation I selected the high graphics preset. The frame rate is on average 60 FPS, the frame time graph is stable, and the latency is minimal now, the gameplay is much better. Let's take a look at the graphics options and make sure everything is enabled. Unfortunately, we have a problem. The HUD is blinking and there is an unpleasant ghost effect on the character. I will test the frame rate in this area, and after that I will try to minimize these bugs created by the mod. Now I'm going to minimize the ghosting effect in the game. Locate the renderer .ini file found in the game's save folder. Now look for MB Lens Distortion. Change it from true to false and save the file.
The ghost effect on the character has been notably reduced, but there's still an issue with the HUD flashing persistently. My suggestion is to deactivate it in the interface options for a smoother experience. Keep in mind that the mod is currently in the beta phase, so it's not flawless. Certain games may exhibit errors. Patience is key, as we await developers to make FSR 3 universally available in all games. If you found this information helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving it a thumbs up. Thanks a bunch, guys.